Thank you for tuning in to SJ 336, St. John 336. I'm Stephanie Jeanette Bradley. And um, SJ 336 stands for St. John chapter 3, verse 36. He that believeth in, on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. And that is um, the King James Version. Today is day 368 of my book, A Daily Devotional. I wrote the book and I am presenting it to, presenting it to you via YouTube. Today covers Psalm 127. Suggested uh, scripture references, Psalm 127, the entire Psalm, Ezekiel 6 verses 9 through 11, Zechariah 10 verse 2, in St. Mark 7, verse 7, in Galatians 2, verse 21. And I will read those. They're relatively short. Ezekiel is a long book. All right, Ezekiel 6, 9 through 11. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whither they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart, which hath departed from me, and with their eyes, which go a whoring after their idols. And they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in all their abominations. And they shall know that I am the Lord, and that I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them. Thus saith the Lord God, smite with thine hand, and stamp with thy foot, and say, Alas, for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, for they shall fall by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. Ouch. Zechariah 10, verse 2. For the idols have spoken vanity, and the diviners have seen a lie, and have told false dreams. They comfort in vain, therefore they went their way as a flock. They were troubled because there was no shepherd. And St. Mark 7, 7. The Gospel according to Mark, chapter 7, verse 7. Albeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Colossians 2.21, I really picked them this time, didn't I? This is, just get some uh, forward movement as we have our hearts pruned of hardness on, against our God. Galatians 2.21 <clears throat> I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. And obviously that's designed to have you desire to read more of that. And finally Psalm 127. Just read right quickly um, the suggested praise song, and then after this reading of this psalm, I'll go to my commentary about it. So, this suggested praise song for today is Indescribable by Kiara Sherd. YouTube upload is dated October 18th, 2011. Okay, Psalm 127. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. 
They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Amen. I don't know, maybe this might be one of the most revealing times in human history um, where so many parents are having to bury their children. It speaks volumes of, of how we have behaved as human beings, as adults, um, and failing to teach resolution skills um, and also a willingness to live and let live but instead we have a series of undeclared wars in various nations we have continuance of isms different isms are more prominent in different countries and continents and so forth than others, but there's at least two or three um, pressing isms, very active in our human society that hinders our growth as, as, a, as a people, as a creation. And um, Violence, just continued violence. And our children are suffering greatly for it. Children also see the foolishness of their parents, um, the double mindedness of their parents. It makes it difficult for our Lord to reach the children because they go to church with their parents and then they see their parents acting like hoodlums and exhibiting attitudes that are faithless and full of hatred. And so how can a child reconcile that, you know, that uh, hypocrisy in their face? And so they learn what appears to be the true reality of a daily living on this earth. And then they have to decide Whose report will they believe? And how do they honor their parents amidst such hypocrisy and lack of faith? Some of it is also downright um, worshiping of Satan. So they see that too. Psalm 127, here again we have a verse that most will have heard who are interested in committing to daily devotional time with Christ Jesus. This verse 1 is one that we all agree with openly amongst others, but we rarely of late put it into practice. Think about it. Have you dedicated your house and all that goes in, on, and around it unto the holiness and righteousness of the Lord our God? Do you participate in your city government and lend to Jesus Christ perspective on a matter? The truthful fact is that living under the precepts and guidance of Almighty God is the best way for human beings to grow into performing their Christ-given purpose. Now, I admit there are many who will tell you flat out that they are not interested in serving God, Jesus, their neighborhood, or even their families. That all they are committed to do is provide a roof and food and clothing and a little bit of guidance, and the rest the youngsters will have to decide for themselves. But I assure you, that is not good. That uh, but I assure you, that is not God Almighty's instruction unto us, and we are accountable for the full expectation of the ministry of family. 
Not only that, but folk love the benefits of living in an environment that states that free will reigns as long as you are not infringing upon the rights of others. But we do not want to stand by the wording and actuation of statutes that bring that to pass. When that happens, the place gets raped of all of its benefits, and then everyone becomes discontent, while a few, tr a few try to deliver themselves by astronomical income figures and overpassing sidewalks. Overall, this short song was a boost to rely on the Lord our God and faith in all that we do and to teach our children the same. And for the intercessory prayer, dear Father God Almighty, our quickening spirit, we thank you for your dear and only begotten Son and his completed work of his shed blood on the cross at Calvary, even Christ Jesus of Nazareth. Lord, may our only comfort be found in the knowledge of the truth that we are not capable of fully understanding your way, yet we trust in the same. And Lord God Almighty, please bless the Arctic Ocean through gaining an exact understanding of Pythias's congealed substance unsuitable for walking or sailing on and that it coughs up treasures unheard of. In Christ Jesus' only precious name we do pray. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you for tuning in and stay strong in your walk in the Lord. Have a great day.